Hi friends, today we are unboxing the Samsung Odyssey G9. This thing is massive, massive, massive. It is so big, we can't get it in the frame, it's just... <laughs> it looks like an MRI, but she's not <laughs> 346 minutes later so we are here now in our home office and i'm going to give you my first impressions of this amazing samsung odyssey g9 this monitor is such a beast being 49 inch this is the biggest monitor we've ever bought my old monitor is 34 inch and although that is already big i've reached to a point where it was no longer enough when it comes to my productivity i must admit i was a bit hesitant with the 1000 r curvature at the beginning i was never interested with tvs that are curved but the idea of being fully immersed in your monitor was just really appealing to me this curvature will definitely take a bit of getting used to. This is first impression so that's okay. I will do a follow-up video so subscribe if you'd like to see that and any other future videos. Although my eyes are not quite used to this curvature yet, it doesn't feel awkward or unnatural. It really does give you that immersive experience that Samsung claims. I will tell you in that follow-up video if this curvature really does help to minimize eye strain just like what Samsung is claiming as I would need more time to test that out. Another thing that I was worried about is a dead pixel. So, considering the size of this monitor, unfortunately, my one does have one dead pixel. I did contemplate whether or not I will send it away for a replacement, but I thought I may end up with more dead pixels, plus I would have to cover the shipping and the restocking fee. As technically, this isn't classified as 40. In fact, ISO 13406-2 states how many dead pixels are allowed. To be honest, it's not noticeable at all, so I'm deciding to keep this as I am extremely happy with this one. I tried fixing the dead pixel by the way but it did not work so please let me know in the comment section if you know a way to fix it. This monitor is targeted for gamers and for productivity of course. I'm not a gamer so I can't give you any in-depth impressions about that but I will try to cover the basics that you may want to know so just bear with me. The screen resolution is 5120 by 1440 which isn't quite 4k but close. The graphics are amazing, the best I've seen in a monitor so far. It has a refresh rate of 240 hertz although if you are a Mac user like me you will only get 100 20 hertz. Hopefully one day Apple will support 240 hertz. Even my iPad Pro is only 120 hertz. That is buttery smooth. If you're using a Mac, you will need a DisplayPort 1.4 USB-C cable to get the maximum refresh rate. This monitor is such a beast and with the curve, you will just fully immerse yourself and it would really give you that amazing gaming experience. When it comes to productivity, this is just the dream. When multitasking, this Samsung monitor has built-in picture-in-picture and picture-by-picture -picture support. This means that you can treat this as a two-monitor display. It's like having two 27-inch monitor in one, so that's really cool to have that option. So if you are a gamer, you can plug your Mac in one port and gaming rig on the other. One thing that would really need getting used to is because this is so curved as you can see the programs are slightly concaved, especially in the middle, but it becomes less bent on the sides. This is a positive thing though as I wouldn't have to sway myself and put my face closer over the ends as this bending means I can see whatever I have on comfortably. So in terms of ergonomics, this is just fantastic. When it comes to my favorite task, video editing, again, this is just a dream. I just absolutely love this monitor and video editing in this just makes it easier and a lot more enjoyable. I mean, just look at this. Being able to see everything is just amazing. And even when I would have to multitask, the stretch is still big enough for me to see everything. This will definitely help me a lot when it comes to multitasking and creativity. When it comes to photo editing, the curvature definitely gives you a little bit of a distortion, but personally this doesn't concern me so far. And I can always place this in the corners as I don't need it to be full screen, because as you can see this monitor is just too big for photo editing alone. When it comes to its design, it is lovely and looks really futuristic. In fact, it reminds me of Stormtrooper. 
There is also an RGB lighting at the back. The bezels are thinner at the bottom than they are at the top. The overall look is amazing, feels premium as what you would expect at this price point. This thing is massive. I did say that at the beginning, right? The 5120 by 1440 resolution is just amazing. The screen is vivid, crisp and clear. You do get what you pay for for this picture quality. It's amazing for video editing and I can imagine that this is phenomenal when it comes to gaming. The 120 hertz refresh rate for my mic is great as there are no lagging. The 1000 hour curvature was a bit intimidating at the beginning but personally I love it. It does work. Being hugged by this huge monitor really does give you that immersive feeling and it gives you ease when looking at what you're working on from edge to edge. I just love it. Now we know how amazing this beast is, the question is, should you buy it? This is a £1,200 monitor, which is a lot of money. If you have £1,200 spare that you can spend for a better gaming experience or productivity workflow, then by all means, go for it. Also, don't forget the additional expense of the DisplayPort 1.4 cable, which I'll put a link on the description box below. This definitely isn't a necessity. In fact, it's a bit comical with how huge it is and it is a novel but for me and what I will use it for it is worth it. Before buying this of course make sure that you have the space for it as it is big and also heavy so you may need somebody to help you. You will also need a desk that is big enough to accommodate this beast. As my old monitor was smaller I did had to buy a new desk to accommodate this so are you thinking of getting one? I'd love to know so comment down below. If you like this video please give me a like as it helps out with that YouTube algorithm thing and subscribe. I upload videos weekly and I'd love to see you on my next one. Bye alam!